creating a Facebook remarketing campaign. Hey there, everyone. Finally, you are now ready to launch your first Facebook remarketing campaign. We know that you have been anxiously waiting to get to this video, so let's get started now. Start on your Ads Manager dashboard. Please note that you will always land on the campaign selection screen by default every time that you open your Ads Manager account, as you can see here, which greatly simplifies the process. Now, before creating a campaign, you will be able to either create a new campaign or to use existing campaign in case that you already have campaign setup saved to use. For this example case, we are going to show you how to create a remarketing campaign from scratch. To create a new remarketing campaign, you have to start by selecting your marketing objective. Your marketing objective is what you want to see as a result of creating a Facebook remarketing campaign, such as driving more sales from existing website traffic, or getting more leads to your affiliate pages to increase affiliate profits, among others. Now, the remarketing objective that you will have to select to leverage existing traffic retargeted by your Facebook remarketing pixel is the conversions objective. Once you have selected your objective, you'll simply have to scroll down and name your new remarketing campaign in the campaign name field. Then click on the Setup Ad Account button. In the next page, you will simply have to specify your account country, your currency, and your time zone if you haven't done so already. Then click on continue. Now you will be taken to the ad set page where you will need to select the page you will be using to promote your ad, to set up your audience, your ad placements, your budget, and your schedule. Here you will have to start by naming your new ad set in the ad set name field. Now on the conversion section, you will have three types of conversions to target, website, app, and messenger. Select the website conversion and click on the please select the conversion event box to show a list of conversion events. Now select the conversion event that you want to optimize your marketing ads for. This will depend on the conversion event that you selected during your pixel setup. In the offer section, you will have the option to set up offers to drive more conversions on your target destination by turning on the offer option. You will simply need to select from which page you will be promoting an offer and to click on create offer. You then will be able to enter your offer title, your offer details, an end date, and end time for your offer. You will also be able to select whether to let your customers to redeem your offer online, in store, or both. You will also be able to generate redemption codes for your offer, to specify how many codes you will give away, and to enter your offer terms and conditions. Once you finalize configuring your offer, you will have to simply click on Create. For this example, we are going to focus on the remarketing campaign setup, so we are going to set this up as our offer. Now move to the Audience section. Here you will have the option to either create new audience or use a saved audience. In this case, you will have to make use of your custom audiences because you are going to create a remarketing campaign. So you will simply have to click on the Add Custom Audiences or Lookalike Audiences on the Create New tab. And then to select your custom audience from the custom audience list that will appear. Now you can click on Exclude to select custom audiences to exclude from a campaign as well. Additionally. You can further refine whom to retarget to on your custom audience by adjusting the rest of your audience settings. Start by selecting a location or series of locations in the Audiences section. You can further refine your target location by going to the Locations menu and selecting whether to target everyone in this location, people who live in this location, people recently in this location, or people traveling to this location. In the Age section, you can select the base age and a top age to target. In the Gender section, you can select to either target men, women, or all. And in the Languages field, you can type a specific language you might want to target. In the Detailed Targeting section, you can include or exclude people based on demographics, interests, and behaviors. In the Connection section, you can reach out to Facebook users according to the type of connection that they have with your page, such as people who like your page, or friends of people who like your page. If you would like to target the same audience set up in a future remarketing campaign, you can simply click on the Save Audience button. Now in the Placement section, you can select Automatic Placements or Edit Placements. Selecting Automatic Placements will serve your ads to all possible types of users on all types of devices across multiple networks, which include third-party networks. That is why we recommend you to select Edit Placements so you can select your own ad placements. Our recommendation for you is to select all devices and to deselect the audience network as well as the messenger ads placements. Now in the Budget and Schedule section, you have to set up your budget format, amount, and schedule. You can either select a daily budget if you want to spend a specific amount on a daily basis, 
where you can select lifetime budget if you want to spread a specific amount of money across your campaign's lifetime. In the Schedule section, you can select the Run My Ad Set Continuously Starting Today option to run your ad until you decide to stop it. Or you can select the Set a Start Date and End Date option to schedule how long to run your new ad set. A recommendation here is to set a daily budget of $5 up to $30 if you can afford it, and then start increasing your daily amount until you find a sweet spot where you get good return on investment relative to your remarketing objective. Now, when it comes to scheduling a remarketing campaign for the first time, the best approach is to test it out for 14 to 30 days. You can select Run My Ad Set Continuously Starting Today in the Schedule section to test out your remarketing campaign for a period of time and then stop it manually. Or you can select Set a Start and End Date and use the calendar option to schedule specific start and end times. Once you are done here, simply click on Continue. In the following section, you will have to edit your ad creative. Enter your ad name in the Ad Name box and select your Facebook page in the Identity section. Now in the Format section, you will have to select the format of your ad. The Carousel format allows you to insert two or more images and videos on your ad. The Single Image format will allow you to introduce a single image on your ad. The Single Video format will allow you to use a single video on your ad. Finally, you can select the slideshow format to create a looping video ad composed with up to 10 images. For this campaign, we are going to select the single image format. We are going to scroll down to the images section and click on the browse library to select an image for our ad. As you can see here, you will be able to select an image from your library, from a collection of stock images, or to upload images from your computer. In our case, we are going to simply select the image from our library that best reflects our offer. Once you make your selection, click on Done. Now move to the link section. In this section, you will insert your URLs, your ad copy, your headline, your ad text, and your calls to action. Start by entering your landing page's URL in the website URL field. Now in the headline field, you have to enter an attention-grabbing headline for your remarketing ad. In our case, we are going to simply enter the name of our business. In the text field, you will have to enter an inviting call to action text related to the content or your offers and the placements that you are tracking on your website. In the call to action menu, you can select a working call to action button for your remarketing ad from the vast selection of call to action buttons available. In our case, we're going to select the no button option. Finally, in the news feed link description, you have to add a very short but inviting description of your site. You can check the ad preview section on the right hand side to see how your ad is going to look on different placements, such as desktop and mobile feeds. Once you are done here, simply click on the confirm button and wait for your remarketing ad to be approved. And that's it. Join us in the following section so we can teach you some advanced level Facebook remarketing strategies.